Okay, here we are in NAMM 2012. Uh, we're uh, at the Waves booth uh, here. Uh, some excitement coming around their new version nine. So we're going to talk uh, with uh, Luke Smith here. He's going to tell us a little bit about what's coming up in the future for the new version of Waves. Great, thanks a lot. Uh, we're really excited to announce uh, V9 being right around the corner here and uh, the ability for two things. Number one, every plugin that we make is now going to be 64-bit with version 9. So we know customers have been waiting a lot of time. We appreciate their patience and we're happy to deliver it. Um, as far as how you're going to manage your version 9 licenses uh, moving forward, it, you're not going to have to use an iLock anymore. We have this application that is going to look like this, right? Where you're able to access your licenses in a Waves cloud, right? So your licenses are stored on our servers, you log in, and you can um, do one of two things with them. You can either A, download them directly to your computer, and the unique identifier that we use in that situation is the MAC address of your Ethernet card, or you can buy a generic USB thumb drive, and you can um, download your license to that, because uh, almost all USB thumb drives have a unique serial number. So we really wanted to reward our legitimate customers by making it easier to move, transfer, and recover their licenses. And that's the idea behind this. So not only can you use any generic USB drive, make it a lot easier to move your stuff around or directly to your computer, but say you lose your USB drive and you lose that off that you downloaded, you can go to recover your license from the cloud. Now in licensing, is that a single MAC address from the cloud? Yes. Single MAC address, Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So we're using, um, um, you know, the ability to recover the licenses is going to be a huge deal for our customers. And if you have a problem, you can call Waves directly about it. You change your computer, yeah. you got a new NIC, and... If, if, you, if you get a new NIC, then um, what you'll want to do is prior to installing the Ethernet card, you'll most likely want to pull that license off of the computer, put it back in the cloud, and then re-download it. Ah, right? very simple. And we'll have some uh, tech support bullet points for exactly that type of thing, right? Excellent, yeah, very good. for sure. So, we've got some uh, a couple of other new plugins. Or, sorry, I showed you the other two. We're going to show you the uh, perhaps most exciting new plugin we have. Uh, and it's one that is the culmination of years of research by the Waves team, um, and it's called NLS. It stands for Non-Linear Summing, and there's both a channel instance to this, and there's a bus instance. So I'm going to pull up channel instance, and then we'll go down to the master bus. Now we'll pull up this guy too. Now. On the channel side, the motivation behind this plugin to begin with was the um, mystery behind where this warmth and this depth and this saturation effect comes from when you're mixing on an analog console. And through our research, we found that a large majority comes from the individual channels and the very subtle differences that they have harmonically all summed into one, giving us a very nice warmth, depth, in a non-linear fashion. Same thing with the master bus. So what we did was, um, we didn't just model one analog channel, excuse me, we didn't just model one analog channel from a console, we modeled 32 channels from three different consoles. And we went to our artist in Dorsey's to actually model um, some very, very, very nice special analog consoles. So we had Spike Stent, um, who's a producer in Los Angeles, who has a, a really nice SSL 4000G. We modeled 32 channels of that, plus the noise, by the way. Mike Hedges has an EMI uh, TG12345 Mark IV. We modeled 32 channels of that. It's the Beatles console. Yoad Nevo has a really nice Neve 5116. We modeled 32 channels of that. And so the workflow here is that you can use the channel instances one of two ways. You can either A, put them on every track prior to mixing, so that would be on the first insert slot, using them as a preamp idea or adjusting the input trim of your analog console, right? 
Or if you're done mixing in the box and your plugins are already set, then you can put them on the last insert slot, right? So they can either be at the beginning of the signal path or the end of the signal path. And what's the great thing here? You can mix and match the different console models however you see fit. So if you're drums, you'd like to have the Neve console model, you can select that. And then if you move to your uh, guitars or your vocals, you can have a different setting, the EMI setting, or perhaps the SSL setting, right? So there's a lot of flexibility there. As I turn up this warp knob, I get more and more saturation. But even at zero, since the, as soon as you put this on, it's, it's going through that channel model. Even at zero, you'll hear a significant amount of warmth. Now, we also have the ability to do VCA groups. So the VCA groups allow you to have master control over here on the bus instance. So not only do we model 32 channels of each of these consoles, but we also model the master bus of these consoles. So you can have Neve channels hitting an EMI bus. You can have uh, mics, uh, or excuse me, you can have uh, spikes SSL channels hitting a Neve bus. You know, hybrid console. Absolutely. Now, That's look, really idea. quick before you go on, go one ahead. thing I was curious about uh -huh. is that, yeah, if you've already got stuff put together and you're adding this in the as an afterthought, are you usually though wanting to have this at the front of your your chain? You know, would that make more sense? I. Or does it really matter? I, I mean, don't know if it matters a whole lot, but you do get a slightly different effect. So I would recommend that customers try both ways to see which they find more desirable. Okay. For me, I kind of like it to have it on the first insert yeah. slot, but that's not necessarily that just seems logical true for everybody. You know, be, yeah, you know, it you doesn't, use that. doesn't have to be that way, okay. and you still hear a very uh, perceivable effect when you put it on the last insert slot too. Good question. The the way the master bus instance works is that you know once again you can switch which master bus you're using right and then if you use the vca groups on the channels then you're able to do master um, volume control of those vca groups here you can bypass the 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 setting um, uh, the modeling itself you can turn the noise on and off you can adjust the warmth of just your drums group and then keep the guitars group where you know at noon kind of whatever you want. Now, I'll go back to the channel instance real fast because I, I wanted to mention that as you throw these on every channel, if you'd like to randomize them yourself, meaning I want on my channel one and pro on my DAW to be Mike Hedges channel number 14, then I can go into our preset menu and select any one of those channels. So I can randomize it however I'd like to. Now, when you when you guys were were going through these, uh, uh, you know, modeling the different channels, uh -huh. were you finding like significant differences on these consoles, or you know, were they very minute? But it's that what that makes that coloration. It's an excellent question, and these consoles had all been um, recapped, and you know, um, had definitely a once over prior to us modeling it, obviously. So the harmonic differences are uh, noticeable, but not not hugely, okay. right? So that's going to be more of a, if you're starting to randomize them yourself, I would imagine when you start to do it on 8, 10, 12, 15 channels, that you'll start to hear the effect more prevalent. And also remember that since we thought, since we realized that, you know, the more non-linearity that you're summing, the better, you know, the more channel instances you have, the better. Yeah. And that's that's essentially it. That is it. Yeah. Okay. And version nine is that is that all you've announced so far? Is there more plugins that are coming that no? Oh, we know we've got those the in phase, the WLM which is already out, and the NLS, and then V9. So um, NLS is going to be March or so, um, and that's you know that's the big announcement. The, the nine yeah. is then obviously in March as well. Should be around right March. Okay. Yeah. Should be around March. So if everything goes well. All right. Well, there yeah. it is. Nam 2012. We're here at the Waves booth. Go out, check them out.